EKB TV presents the high school basketball game of the week. Tonight, the Shelby Valley Wildcats take on the East Ridge Warriors. Welcome back once again to Eastridge High School. It is the game of the week. Eastridge and Shelby Valley here tonight. Battle of 59th District teams. Regular season implications on the line here tonight. Shelby Valley needs a win to go ahead and get that number one seed. Eastridge, well, they need a win tonight to live again to play on Tuesday night against Pikeville. Uh, first things first, though, for both ball clubs, the matchups. Tonight, uh, so many one-on-one -on -one matchups, Lucas, you could look at. Starting for Eastridge, uh, top of the list, Johnny Miller. We all know that young man. We've seen him shoot for seems like uh, years now. Uh, one of the purest shooters around. If he gets hot, he can hurt you uh, real quick. Austin Hilton, what leaping ability that young man's got in. Shelby Valley, they've got their hands full on that one. Uh, on the other hand, how about Michael Fields, the transfer? from Eastridge to Shelby Valley. The offense will go through that, young man. We've seen Dalton Richardson put up shooting performances this season. Uh, then you've got to play of Andrew Newsom. You can go down the list uh, on the one-on-one -on -one matchups that each team needs uh, tonight. Well, I think th that'll be very interesting to see tonight which matchups really decide this game. You've got uh, a, a bunch of different matchups that are really intriguing. I'm going to look at the guards especially. Who can come out on top in the guard matchup between Miller and Richardson, Fields uh, and Little? Both have played really well in district games. Uh, Johnny Miller played very well against Pikeville. Uh, Dalton Richardson, we watched him uh, kill Pikeville uh, up at Shelby Valley uh, a little over a week ago. Uh, so those matchups will be very good. But like you said, inside as well, Andrew Newsom uh, still recovering, I think, from the leg injury suffered during football season against the just crazy athleticism that Austin Hilton has. So it'll be interesting to watch those. So both inside and outside, there will be some battles going on. We'll see who can take advantage of each of those tonight. Do they want to get up and, and run up and down the floor? I, I would think that Shelby Valley would want to get up and down the floor. Will Coach McCoy want to slow it down a little bit or get up and run with the Wildcats? I think the way uh, we've watched these teams throughout the season, especially in district play, I think Shelby Valley would love to get out and run if they can. Uh, they're so guard heavy, and that's where the majority of their scoring comes from, is from the guard position. So I think they would be very comfortable with an up and down game, letting those guards attack in transition. I think if you're Eastridge and Coach McCoy, I think you do feel as a little bit of an underdog coming into this game. So maybe a slower pace would be advantageous for the Warriors. Of course, uh, Eastridge coming in uh, to the matchup off their, their last game uh, was a loss to Harlan County, a Harlan County team in which we saw Pikeville handle at Pikeville. So there's another example of someone beating someone and vice versa. You can throw your scripts out the window on, on the region so far. Uh, Shelby Valley, on the other hand, uh, their performance down in the All-A Classic uh, down at the Civic Center in Frankfurt, uh, a big win uh, over, over Campbellsville, and then a overtime game with Owen County, in which going into that, Owen County, you could say, was one of the favorites. Only a couple of losses in that game. So uh, this one uh, should be a dandy here tonight. Uh, both teams looking for a 59th district win here tonight. Uh, teams out on the floor right now uh, uh, waiting for the starting lineups. Vernon White, the public address announcer here tonight, getting ready to announce those. To our right, uh, Coach McCoy and his Eastridge Warriors, the pep section, they've made their way out onto the floor. And the Warriors uh, will be announced shortly. Eastridge dressed in the home white uniforms tonight with the uh, blue trim, uh, ridge across the front, and Shelby Valley there in the road blue uniforms tonight. The white and black letters and numerals, uh, Shelby Valley across the chest. What a great crowd we've got here tonight for 59th District basketball action. Feels like a district tournament already. Oh, it does, and these are communities that are, have rich basketball tradition. You look at the schools, uh, Elkhorn City, Millard, Feds Creek, uh, the combined Eastridge, and then you've got Dorton and Virgie, of course, to combine Shelby Valley. So a lot of basketball tradition, and basketball means a lot to the people of both of these communities. So, of course, a Friday night, great showcase here for 59th District basketball. Of course, we thank you for joining us tonight on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting for the high school basketball game of the week. Also, EKB TV, Channel 18, Sudden Link Cable uh, 18, EKB TV, 
I do believe the ball game. You'll be able to watch the replay of this game tomorrow night. That's EKB TV. Let's go ahead and take a look at tonight's starting lineups. First for East Ridge and Coach Randy McCoy, the Warriors at 11 and 10. Uh, it'll be a three-guard set led by the shooter Johnny Miller, Trey Little, and Cody Salyers. The forward is Jacob Cheney, and the center Austin Hill. And again, for the Warriors, it's Miller, Little, and Salyers. Little, excuse me, Cheney and Hilton up front for Eastridge. For Shelby Valley, 15 and 10 under coach Jim Hicks. Uh, it'll be a three guard set for the Wildcats as well. Michael Fields, Corey Hamilton, and Dalton Richardson, the forward Hunter Swindle, and the man in the middle will be Andrew Newsom. Again, for Shelby Valley, it's Richardson, Fields, Hamilton, Swindle, and Newsom. We're almost set for basketball here tonight. Veteran officiating crew. Uh, Tyrone, Wendell, and Mike Hall will be the lead official. He'll be in center circle for the tip and to get this one going. We thank you for joining us as we get sit courtside here at the reservation. Austin Hilton and Hunter Swindle in center circle awaiting the toss from official Mike Hall. We're set for basketball here from Eastridge. The tip is up, controlled by Hilton. Eastridge has it. Into the hands of Trey Little. The Warriors will be going right to left as we sit courtside. Little near side to Johnny Miller. Back to Little on the far hash. Swinging in the corner for Cody Sayers. Back to Miller. Top of the key. Looks in for Hilton. Not there. Chaney has it. Cross court. Miller thought about the three head fake. Pulls up from the left elbow. Good. Johnny Miller with the first deuce of the basketball game. Eastridge draws first blood. Great use of the shot fake there by Johnny Miller. Uh, Shelby Valley in that 2-3 zone. Able to penetrate the zone using the shot fake to get a nice look from the elbow. Eastridge opening up in the man-to-man -man defense. Hamilton has it on the right side to Richardson. Richardson picked up by Johnny Miller. What a matchup to watch right there. Fields with it, top of the circle. Over on the left side once more. Swindle pulls up from the free throw line, left that one short. Ball tipped, goes out of bounds. They say last touched by an Eastridge player. It stays with Shelby Valley, the Wildcats. They'll inbound to the right of their own basket, 7.05 to play first quarter. Fields looks, lobs it underneath. Swindle goes up to get it, off balance shot. Puts it home. Great body control by Hunter Swindle, and we're tied at two. Very nice inbound play there by Shelby Valley. Hunter Swindle, we've seen him do it all year. A little bit undersized as a forward, but he just finds those spaces to create and get good shots. Little to Miller. Chaney's got it on the left wing. Back to Miller straight away, looking underneath for Hilton. Not there. Chaney on the wing. Miller straight away once again. Pass underneath on the baseline. Shot up and in by Cody Salyers. Nice job moving without the basketball. We talked about it, Shelby Valley in that 2-3 zone. Eastridge doing a great job exploiting the soft spots of that zone. Great look by Miller. Fields between the leg dribble in the front court to Richardson. Up top, Hamilton swinging over to Swindle. Bounce pass underneath. Batted away by Hilton. Loose ball picked up by Cheney. Warriors have it. Miller says, go on. I'll bring it in the front court. Picks up the dribble, top of the key. Little's got it. Swinging in the corner once again. Shot on the way. No good. Rebound, Chaney. No good. Got his own rebound. Back up and in. Jacob Chaney with a deuce. And Jim Hicks says, I've seen enough. 30 second timeout, so we'll stay here. 6 2. Your score, Eastridge with a lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Well, you've really got to be impressed with Eastridge, the way they've come out here early. Uh, a lot of energy, and you wouldn't expect anything less from a Coach McCoy coach team here at home. They want to get after Shelby Valley. Shelby Valley looking a little bit sluggish to start off. And, you know, that's kind of to be expected coming off the All-A tournament run that they just had. Uh, and I think Coach Hicks, Coach Hicks is really known for this. I, I've seen him several times, several Shelby Valley games this year, calling a timeout early when things aren't going well to get that message sent to his team. All right, we got to pick it up. It's 6-2. We're going to get run out of the gym if we don't pick it up. Shelby Valley will have the basketball. They'll come the length of the floor. Richardson tosses in to Michael Fields. Eastridge looks like a little 2-2-1 press. Fields in the front court, picked up by Johnny Miller. Fields on the left wing, wants to drive. Miller cuts him off, still has the dribble. That's a five-second call. Great defense, Johnny Miller. Excellent defense by Miller. You know, coming into the game, I figured we'd see a lot of uh, zone both ways. Eastridge choosing to go man-to-man -man early. An excellent job. Miller taking pride in it. You can see looking right at the stomach of the ball. Uh, 
the dribbler and not taking his eyes off him, keeping his feet, staying in front of him. Five and a half to play, first quarter. East Ridge with a 6-2 lead. They've got the basketball down on the block to Hilton. Head fake, spins, got caught up in the air, kicks it back to Miller, top of the key, lost the handle, runs it down on the left wing. Bounce pass over to Trey Little. Little back to Miller. Miller thought about the long three, puts it on the floor, drives down the baseline. The runner is good. Johnny Miller, good ball control. He's got four. It's an 8-2 Eastridge game. Excellent recognition there by Miller in a quick first step. He knows Shelby Valley is not going to give him much space because they can't give him much space. He uses the quick first step to get by. Corey Hamilton, long three from the left wing, no good. Rebound goes to Trey Little. Warriors want to push the basketball into front court, swinging on the right side to Salyers. Bounce pass into corner to Chaney. Back to Salyers. Little's got it up top. Pull up, foot on the line, no good. Rebound, loose ball ran down by Corey Hamilton of Shelby Valley. Gets it in the hands of Michael Fields. He'll slow it down with four and a half to go in the first. You know, a big couple minutes here coming for Shelby Valley. Really like to start getting the scoring going soon. Newsom to Fields. In the corner, Richardson, bingo, Dalton Richardson. Three ball for his first bucket of the game. We've seen him do that so many times this season thus far. And if you're Shelby Valley, that's how you get the scoring going. Get a wide open look from three for Richardson. Little to Miller. At the elbow, Hilton's got it back to Miller straight away, coming up on the four minute mark. Miller dribbles on the left, left wing, picks it up back to Little. Near midcourt, picked up by Fields. Bullet pass underneath the Chaney. Chaney spins. Goes up and in. Nice touch by Jacob Chaney. He's got four. Back to a five-point Warrior lead. Great spin move there by Chaney. Great body control from the big fellow. Michael Fields. Pass on the left wing to Hamilton. Back to Fields straight away. Near side Richardson. Into the corner for Swindle. Swindle. Baseline cut off by Hilton. Picks it up. Pass out to Fields. Touch pass. Hamilton's got it. Back to Michael Fields. Fields. Hamilton, bounce pass down on the baseline once again. Turnaround jumper off the glass by Swindle, no good. Picked up by Eastridge, Johnny Miller has it. In the front court, gets an opening, drives down the lane, got caught up in the air. Knocked away, into the hands of Trey Little, back to Miller. Long three, Hamilton got a piece of it, shot blocked into the hands of the Wildcats. Shelby Valley will have it. Miller had a look, but it closed very quickly. And that's what you have to do on a good shooter like Miller, quick closeouts. Entry pass to Andrew Newsom. The no-look pass on the baseline to Hunter Swindle. How about the pass from Andrew Newsom? Excellent offense from Shelby Valley there, knowing the spaces to get to, how to space apart, and great job moving without the basketball by Swindle and Newsom putting it right on the money. Three-point lead, Eastridge. Two and a half to play first quarter. Warriors with the basketball. Pass intended for Miller. Sayers can't run it down. Goes out of bounds. Turnover. Warriors. You know, if you're Coach McCoy, uh, you've got to be really happy so far with the effort that his team's given. Eastridge has come out with a lot of intensity, and I think they've probably matched or exceeded Shelby Valley's intensity, but Shelby Valley has weathered the storm. They looked a lot more comfortable the last couple of possessions. Michael Kahn has made his way into the Eastridge lineup. Johnny Miller with a steal, coast to coast, count the basket and a foul. Miller will go to the line to complete the three-point play. The foul will be on Michael Fields. That's his first team number one, first foul of the basketball game. So give Miller the basket, point number six for Miller at the line, looking for point number seven. And, of course, as soon as I say they look a little more comfortable, turn it over. But great defense by Miller, being active on the defensive end, getting in transition to get an easy basket. Miller hits the free throw. Three-point play is good. He's got seven in the game. It's 13 to seven. Eastridge with the lead. Shelby Valley with a basketball. Lamont Wright now in the game for Shelby Valley. Swindle's got it. Pull up from about 10. No good. Hard off the back of the iron. Basketball tipped by Michael Kahn. Goes out of bounds. It will stay with East. Or excuse me, with Shelby Valley with a minute 59 to go in the quarter. Great job uh, staying active there. Shelby Valley attacking the glass a little uh, better that time. Still without a rebound here under two minutes in the first quarter. Richardson cross-court pass is picked off by Jacob Chaney. Warriors have the basketball. Been at 45. 
Left first quarter action, 13-7 Warriors on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Little. Near side to Miller. Miller looking underneath for Hilton, not there. He's got Chaney in the paint. Chaney, as he goes up for the shot, had it stripped, goes out of bounds, stays with Eastridge. Miller will trigger the basketball in. Eastridge, they don't waste any time whatsoever. Trey Little's got it. Over to Kahn. Back to Little, down on the block. Tried to get it in there to Chaney. Batted away by Richardson, picked up by Shelby Valley. Wildcats have it. Fields crosses the time stripe in the front court, picked up by Kahn. Leaves it for Swindle. Top of the key, near side, Richardson. Cross court pass Fields. Let's fly from behind the stripe. Good. Michael Fields with the three ball, his first points of the game, and it's a three-point basketball game, 13-10 to 10, Eastridge on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Nice answer there from Fields. You know this game means a lot to him. Being a former Eastridge player, he wants to come out here and he wants to do well. Uh, great answer there by him to cut the deficit in half. Miller down on the left block to Hilton. Newsom, nice defense. Hilton loses it. Richardson picks it up. Michael Fields comes right back to get it. 35 seconds to play in the quarter. Fields dribbles out high to Swindle. Shelby Valley spread things out a little bit. They want to take the last look of the quarter. Right, back to Fields. Swindle has it with 18 seconds. Fields into the corner. Lamont right, head fake. Gets baseline drive, reverse layup. No good. Newsom offensive rebound. The putback is good. Andrew Newsom with his first basket. Eastridge, they'll have another look. Miller, three seconds, long three straight away, no good. Off the backboard, one quarter in the books. Your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, Eastridge 13, Shelby Valley 12. Back after this, it is the high school game of the week right here on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. Welcome back to Eastridge High School. J.D. Hughes, Lucas Burchett with you tonight. Thanks for joining us on the High School Game of the Week presented by Appalachian Wireless. Also, EKB TV in attendance tonight. You'll be able to watch the replay of this game tomorrow night. EKB TV, there's a lob. That is a set play. Richardson to Corey Hamilton on the baseline. Good. We've seen that a couple of times this season. That's a, uh, one of Shelby Valley's go-tos, especially out of a timeout or coming out of the quarter, kind of catch uh, the defense off guard. But great execution, great lob, and uh, great screen set down low. And with a basket, it gives Shelby Valley their first lead of the basketball game. Hilton has it on the baseline. Out to Miller. Miller gets a step. Runner down the lane, high off the glass, no good. Loose ball. Hilton, the offensive rebound, loses it going up. We've got a foul, should send Hilton to the free throw line for two shots. You know, looking back to that first quarter, what a first quarter of action uh, in this basketball game. A, a great 15th region battle, great 59th district game. Played the way it should be. Very fast paced. Uh, quality basketball on both sides. Not a whole lot of fouls. Only the second foul in the basketball game to this point. Hilton's free throw rattles and falls. And we won't even talk about free throws from the last game you and I did. What do you think? That's, I put that out of my mind. I, one quick, how far do you think two fouls, the furthest two fouls were apart in the game? Uh, seconds. Second free throw, no good from Hilton. One of two from the stripe. We're tied at 14 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Fields in the front court for Shelby Valley to Swindle. Swindle gets a step, drives to the basket. Contact, count the basket. He's fouled, he'll go to the line. You know, good, strong take there by Swindle. We've seen him do it several different games this year. Swindle's very good taking the ball to the basket, moving without the basketball, finding ways to get open from that forward position. Free throw attempt from Swindle, no good. He's got six in the game. The personal foul was on Trey Little. That's his first. 16-14, Shelby Valley the lead. Eastridge with the basketball. Hilton, head fake, and with those long arms, one step, pounds it on the floor to the basket. Good, Austin Hilton with the deuce. Tied at 16 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. You can just see the explosiveness from Hilton there. Fields driving, Hilton may have got a piece of it. 
Shot no good. East Ridge with a basketball. It's like when Hilton jumps, it's like there's springs on the bottom of his shoes. He just elevates so quickly. It doesn't take him long to get off the ground. Uh, deceptively quick move there from him as well. Little to the near side. Johnny Miller back to Kahn. Kahn, Miller's got it on the left wing. Down on the block once again to Austin Hilton. Hilton back to Miller. Head fake, wants to drive the baseline. Steps called, turnover Eastridge. We've seen Miller now several times use that head fake to try to get his man in the air and go around. Just tried to move a little too quickly there. Didn't put the ball uh, on the floor first. Shelby Valley basketball. 16 apiece on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Swindle in the corner for Hamilton. Back top of the key. Michael Fields has it. 545 left to play in the half. Fields dribbles on the near side, picked up by Con. Crossover dribble, runner down the lane, little flip over the rim is good. Michael Fields, quick first step, got to the rim, hit the layup, gives Shelby Valley a two point lead. Eastridge with a basketball, Little on the right wing, flashing top of the key, Hilton back to Miller. Miller kicks it to Con. Back up high once again to Trey Little, left wing, Miller has it. Little once again. 5-15, Kahn with a basketball on the left side to Miller. Down in the corner for Hilton. Hilton, quick first step, wants to drive, loose ball. Swindle got popped with an errant elbow. Loose ball, Chaney picks it up and scores. We're tied at 18, better check Hunter Swindle, make sure everything's okay. But yeah, like you said, a little bit of an errant elbow there. Nothing intentional, nothing malicious. I think uh, Hilton on his way to the basket as he's going up for the shot. Uh, kind of caught him there. Uh, got him. Nothing too serious. Well, it looks like Swindle's fine. 18 apiece. Shelby Valley with a basketball. Hamilton, Richardson, quick trigger, three ball, no. Swindle and Hilton battle. Swindle wins it. Spinning. Picks up the dribble, double team down on the block, back to Richardson, out high on the right side. Out near center circle, Fields has it once again. They want to clear out for Fields. Near side, Swindle's got it, long three up. Off to the left, rebound con of Eastridge. Warriors will slow it down with 4.20 to play in the half. Con to Little, Miller. Back to Little. Over on the right side, Kahn's got it. He'll let fly from behind the stripe. Rims out, Richardson with a rebound for Shelby Valley. You know, the pace has kind of slowed here a little bit, or at least the scoring has, but I think Shelby Valley kind of after that slow start has started to regain themselves, has looked much better on the offensive end. Swindle, runner, high off the glass, no good. Chaney with a rebound for Eastridge. Quick shot on goal by the Wildcats. Con in the front court over to Little, down in the corner, Chaney. Batted out of bounds by Hunter Swindle. It will stay with Eastridge with 3.42 to play in the half. And on the flip side of that, I think if you're Coach McCoy, 18-18 here, a little under four minutes uh, left in the half, I think you'd be pretty happy as well. Trey Little with the basketball to Johnny Miller straight away. Over to Michael Con. Little's got it straight away. Top of the key, crossover dribble. Nice defense by Fields, leaves it for Kahn. He'll bring it back middle of the floor again. Kahn, screen set by Hilton, still has a dribble. Little on the right wing, looking underneath. Underneath Miller's got it, quick first step, pull up from about 12, off, rebound into the hands of Hunter Swindle of Shelby Valley. Wildcats have it, we're tied at 18, three minutes to play in the half. Really nice move by Miller there, couldn't get the shot to fall. Shelby Valley looks like they've switched to a 1-3-1 one -one defense. Fields to Richardson. Straight away, right wing, Michael Fields to Hamilton up top in the paint. Newsom kicks it back. Richardson from 12, no good. Newsom with a rebound, a lot of bodies colliding. Loose ball picked up by Kahn of Eastridge. Big boy basketball underneath, two and a half to play. Definitely, and Newsom being a lot more aggressive on the boards here. Uh, Shelby Valley, not a lot of rebounds early. Newsom with a couple big offensive boards. Cons three attempt, no good. He's 0 of 2 from behind the stripe. Shelby Valley, another rebound. Wildcats doing a good job on the boards right now. Shelby Valley definitely doing a great job boxing out, limiting Eastridge to one shot per possession. 
Fields again with a quick first step, got the opening, took it to the hole. Shot no good, but he's fouled. Foul's going to go on Trey Little of Eastridge. That's his second. Only two team fouls apiece in the basketball game. I'd say both coaches will be very satisfied with that going into the break with hopefully little to no foul trouble. Lamont right to Michael Fields. On the floor for Shelby Valley, it's Fields right, Newsom, Swindle, and Richardson. Con Little, Miller, Hilton, and Cheney for Eastridge. Three out of the corner is good by Hunter Swindle. We've seen Swindle do it uh, as well as Richardson, those Shelby Valley shooters. When you're in the zone defense, you may have a hand up, but you've got to have the hand in their face. You can't leave them any space. Three-point lead by Shelby Valley, their largest lead of the basketball game. A minute and a half to play in the half. 21-18 Valley. Eastridge with a basketball. Trey Little's got it. Top of the key. Wants to drive. Comes off the screen set by Hilton. Kicks to Miller. Miller back to Little. Bounce pass down on the block to Chaney once again. Chaney pounds it hard. Little fadeaway jumper. No good. Hilton goes up high to get it with two hands and just lays it over the rim. Ooh, what athleticism and what timing from Hilton. Beautiful. He saw the shot by Chaney was going to be short. Timed it up perfectly. Came in and you, you see just Great athleticism from the big man. That young man just explodes off the floor. He could have ripped the rim off right there if he wanted. One point basketball game, 21-20. Shelby Valley the lead and the ball on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Right with the basketball. Leaves it for Swindle. Kick ball. Was it off the knee? Officials get together. Let's see. So where they're talking about it looked like yep. to me that an Eastridge player kind of knocked it into the Shelby Valley player, and that's that's there what they saw as well. There you go. Good call. I agree, and, I, and that's what you love about a veteran crew. First of all, doing these uh, district games where it can get a little intense, it's good to have a veteran crew, but not one person just made a call there. They said, all right, what'd you see? What'd you see? Come together, bottom and they line, got it right. Bottom line, they got it right. That's exactly right. 25 seconds to go in the half, 21-20. Shelby Valley with a lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Eastridge with a basketball. Miller, he's just going to stand out near midcourt and said, I'm going to dribble until time to take the last shot. Screen set by Hilton. Miller pull up. Three partially blocked once again. Loose ball underneath. Right and Hilton battling off of Hilton. Out of bounds. Shelby Valley will have... One more look at it with 8.6 on the clock. And I think Coach McCoy there was saying, all right, that was a good look, but look what happened now. We didn't get the result that we wanted, and Shelby Valley is going to get the last shot. Richardson, let's fly with two seconds. Bingo, Dalton Richardson puts a big exclamation point on the half for Shelby Valley. And at the break, your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, Shelby Valley 24, Eastridge 20, We'll take this time out when we return. We'll take a look at first half statistics and scoring. All that and more. It is your high school game of the week right here on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. Courtside on the reservation, I'm J.D. Hughes. To my left, Lucas Burchett. It's 59th District Basketball from Eastridge, 24-20. As the second half set to begin, Eastridge, they'll have the basketball as we start second half action. Warriors, they trail Shelby Valley by four. They'll be going left to right on your dial. Trey Little with the basketball. Dribbles on the far side, the handoff to Sawyers, Sawyers in the lane to Hilton, back to Little on the right wing. Cross court, Miller, open three, shot on the way, good. Johnny Miller with his first three-point field goal of the game, and very quickly, it's a one-point basketball game. And that's the look Miller wasn't getting from three in the first half, that good, clean look where he had time to set himself. Fields over to Swindle on the right side, back to Hamilton straight away. Hamilton puts it on a four, penetrates, kicks, Swindle. Three ball, good. Hunter Swindle with the tray. That's his second triple of the night. 
Back to a four-point Shelby Valley lead at 27 to 23. When Shelby Valley's hitting the outside jumper like that, they're a tough team to beat. Sires on the left side. The give to Miller. Miller near side. Little's got it. Little puts it on the hardwood. Cross court to Miller. Thought about the three. Gets it to Hilton. Top of the key. Little down on the baseline. Sires has it. Dumps it to Hilton. Just lays it up and in. Austin Hilton with a deuce. When that young man gets it anywhere in the paint, he's deadly. You know, and it, I think those are a couple that he could have slammed home, but he did the mature thing and just laid it in, made sure he got the points instead of trying to go for the style points. I'm going to bend the rim if I've got the chance. <laughs> Never happening. Swindle, left wing. Crossover dribble on Hilton. Kicks Richardson. Let's fly. That one's no good. Chaney with the rebound for Eastridge. Two-point basketball game. Warriors trail Shelby Valley. Inside Chaney. Spin move off the glass. Good. Jacob Chaney with eight. And we are tied at 27 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Six minutes to play in the third. Love the game plan coming out here in the third for Eastridge from Coach McCoy. Working inside out. Getting the ball in the paint every possession so far this quarter. Richardson, right wing, ball batted away by Miller. Loose ball, Miller dives for it. Picked up by Sayers. Great hustle by Miller. Sayers is fouled by Fields right in front of us. Fields picks up his second. First foul of the second half. Go back, what about the defensive effort from Johnny Miller? That's three or four times tonight we've seen him use those quick hands and not slapping down at the ball, slapping up like he's taught. Great quick hands there from Miller to knock the ball away and what the effort to save it and keep the possession alive for Eastridge. He extends, he goes head first to keep the ball alive. Chaney from the free throw line, no good. Hilton battling inside with Richardson. Richardson comes away with it for Shelby Valley. We're tied, 27 apiece. 5.15 to go in the third quarter. Shelby Valley with the basketball. Fields, crossover dribble. Leaves it for Corey Hamilton. Hamilton kicks it on the right side. Swindle, pump fake, three ball, no good. Rebound, Trey Little ahead to Johnny Miller. Miller holds it up into the corner for Hilton. Gets a baseline, drives high off the glass, no good. That would have hit the highlight reel if that one would have fell. It did not. He'll go to the line. The foul on Shelby Valley's Andrew Newsom, number two on Newsom, second foul of the half. So now you've got only four fouls called on Shelby Valley. Fields has two. Andrew Newsom has two. You know, and that's a result of Shelby Valley not cutting the baseline over there, uh, off over there. You know Coach Hicks would love to see them cut that baseline off to where Hilton has to spin back to where the help is. Uh, because he was able to get the baseline, no help there, and uh, Newsom had to come over late. A uh, great move by Hilton. Austin Hilton hits the first free throw, number two in the air. That's good as well. 29-27. Eastridge with the lead here in the second half on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Under five to play in the third quarter. Fields to Swindle. Back to Fields on the right side. Pass underneath intended for Andrew Newsom. The foul is going to be on, I would say, Jacob Chaney, and it is. That is number one on Chaney. Will be Shelby Valley basketball. They'll inbound the, bat, the ball to their right of their own goal. Fields looking to Richardson, head fake, let's fly, three ball, yep. You give him a step, he's gonna burn you. Dalton Richardson, his third triple of the game, he's got nine, 30 second timeout called by Shelby Valley. So we'll keep it right here. Shelby Valley now retakes the lead by one, 30 to 29 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. You know, something I think has, we haven't really touched on yet, but has been very evident in this basketball game is just the great fundamentals by both teams. You've seen Eastridge and Shelby Valley both use the shot fake to great uh, productiveness. Uh, you see Richardson there using it, gets his man in the air, goes by him where he can take one dribble and get a wide open clean look. Both teams playing really sound basketball and it shows uh, on the stat sheet. 30 to 29, back and forth basketball game. Shelby Valley with a one point lead. Four minutes and 40 seconds to play in the third quarter. Eastridge, they'll have the basketball coming out of the timeout. 
Thanks for joining us tonight on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting as well as EKB TV along for the ride. You'll be able to see the replay tomorrow night as well. Turnover Eastridge into the hands of Andrew Newsom. Shelby Valley has it. They've got the one-point lead. They'll slow things down. Fields walks it across the time stripe in the front court. Takes it on the right side. Now top of the key to Richardson. Hamilton back to Richardson. Quick trigger, three ball. You know it. Richardson has four from behind the stripe. He's got 12 in the game. 33-29 back to a four-point Wildcat lead. Little pass underneath. Off the hands of an Eastridge player, Randy McCoy didn't like it. He calls a timeout, 30-second timeout for Eastridge. It's now a four-point Shelby Valley lead once again, 3.57 to play in the third quarter. Eastridge may have rushed that possession somewhat, and Coach McCoy, uh, you know in this timeout, first off, he lets them know he didn't like it. Second, hey, let's slow things down and do what we've been doing to start the half. And, you know, if you're Eastridge, look here, under four minutes left in the third quarter, only down four. There's no reason to panic. And I think when uh, you see a, a couple shots in a row from Richardson from behind the arc fall, you know, that is a logical reaction to start panicking. All right, we got to press. He's heating up. we got to go. But I like what Eastridge has been doing. And you could see that it was a concerted effort coming out of the half. Get the ball to the paint, work from the inside out. They've tried to the last couple of possessions. Not great passes, a little too much on the first one. I think you said it perfectly on the second one, a little rushed. So just slow down, get back to the game plan, and let's execute a little better. Keep in mind, Eastridge, they trail by four to start the second half. They took the lead, and now Shelby Valley a couple of quick baskets and right back. No need to panic. Fields penetrates to Newsom. Quick hands again from Johnny Miller to bat the basketball off the leg of Andrew Newsom. Out of bounds, turnover Shelby Valley. Basketball belonging to Eastridge with three minutes, 38 seconds to play in the third quarter. 33-29 Shelby Valley on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Eastridge basketball, Chaney on the right wing to Miller. At the elbow, Hilton hurt. Hilton spins, faces the basket, wants to penetrate. Loses the handle, goes out of bounds. Newsom did a good job inside, not backing down defensively. You know, and there we go. Eastridge trying to get the ball inside again. You saw back-to-back -back possessions. Good active hands defensively for both teams. They knock it away. Goes off uh, the offensive player, out of bounds for the turnover. Richardson to Fields. Near side, Corey Hamilton. Fields straight away. Puts it on a four. Quick crossover to the elbow. Hamilton in the corner. May have drugged the feet, back to field straight away. Shot on the way, no good. Little and Swindle, five for the basketball. Last touched by Swindle. Basketball will belong to Eastridge. First shot from inside the arc in the half for Shelby Valley, no good. But three of four behind the arc for the Wildcats. Eastridge ball. Hilton's got it in the lane, had it stripped, but right into the hands of Trey Little. Johnny on the spot, Little gets the deuce. It's a two-point game at 33-31. to 31. Right place, right time. <laughs> what a 59th district basketball game. Fields picked up by Sayers. Over to Hamilton on the left wing. Chaney's in his face. Back to Fields straight away. Richardson. Miller comes out on Richardson very quickly this trip. Back to Richardson, right wing. Swindle's got it in the corner for Shelby Valley. Crossover, penetrates, kicks, left wing. Hamilton, three up, three, no good. Miller kept it alive. Little with a rebound for Eastridge. Ahead to Chaney. Chaney, quick first step to the basket. Shot, no good. The foul is going to be whistled on Hunter Swindle. And for Swindle, that's personal foul number one, sending Jacob Chaney to the free throw line. Not a whole lot of contact there. Not a whole lot. Uh, listen to Charles Barkley call a game last night, and he talked a lot about missed threes turned into fast breaks, and that's what we saw there for Eastridge. I think Chaney was kind of surprised that nobody from Shelby Valley was back there to stop him. He kind of looked, hesitated for a second, and then took off. Uh, good job by Eastridge, turning it, that missed shot into a transition uh, break to where they can get to the free throw line. First substitutions we've seen in the second half. Kahn back in for Eastridge. Lamont Wright back in for Shelby Valley. As Chaney hits both free throws. Big surprise, 
We're tied at 33 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Great 59th district basketball. Fields to Swindle. Swindle penetrates, pull up from about eight, no good. Off of Wright's fingertips, out of bounds. Basketball goes back to Eastridge with a buck 43 to go in the third. Great job by Lamont right there, though. He couldn't control the rebound, but great positioning of the body. He's a little undersized in there uh, versus Hilton and Chaney, but he did a great job positioning himself to be in contention for that board. Kahn has it on the right wing for Eastridge. Back to Little. Little wants to spin on Richardson. Great defense there. Down low to Chaney. Back to Little. Gets caught on the baseline. No man's land. Shot up. Hits the side of the backboard. Comes off into the hands of Hunter Swindle. A minute 15 left in the third. Shelby Valley looking to retake the lead. We're tied at 33. Lamont Wright with it on the left wing. Into the corner for Swindle. Swindle back to Richardson. Over on the right side, Michael Fields down on the baseline once again to Lamont Wright. Splits the defender before he can get the shot off. He's fouled. Let's see. I'm going to say Austin Hilton. That it is. Well, there we go. Good call. That is number one on Austin Hilton. Valley, quick inbounds pass from Fields. Out to Richardson. Under a minute. Fields, left wing, three up. Comes off. Rebound Trey Little. We hear the comments from Coach Jim Hicks to our left. He didn't like the quick shot that time. Yeah, I think he was looking for a little more patience. Eastridge basketball, Hilton, one step, off balance shot, dotted line, no good. Lamont Wright goes up amongst the trees and gets the rebound. Nice job by Wright to take that away from Newsom and Hilton. 25 seconds to play in the quarter. We're tied at 33. And here's what Coach Hicks was looking for. Let's run a little clock here at the end of the quarter before we put a shot up. Fields picked up by Kahn to Swindle. 10 seconds. Swindle. Gets an opening, drives, loose ball. Ball batted around, jump ball is the call. It will stay with Shelby Valley. 6.9 left, Shelby Valley now keep an eye. They will go quick on the inbounds pass. Fields touches it, one, two, looking. Wasn't there, gets it out high to Richardson. We're at five seconds. Lamont Wright gets by, runner, contact. That's offensive, that's a great call. A great call by Mike Hall. Hilton was there. He had position. He, he stepped up. Uh, Lamont Wright, good aggressive take. Little out of control there. Great call. We don't brag on these guys enough in stripes, but that was a great call. It's been a great officiated game. At the buzzer, Trey Little from half court off the back of the rim. No good. Three quarters down. Your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. It is Shelby Valley 33, Eastridge 33. Back with a fourth after this. It is high school basketball, game of the week style, right here on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. Courtside at Eastridge High School. I'm J.D. Hughes to my left, Lucas Burchett. Nothing decided after three quarters, 33 apiece on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Lucas, great high school basketball game. Hey, let's play one more quarter or maybe some more. This has been a, an outstanding high school basketball game. Warriors with the basketball going left to right on your dial. Up top is Trey Little picked up by Dalton Richardson. Johnny Miller comes to get it. Swing it back around to the left side to Kahn. Kahn picked up by Corey Hamilton. Trey Little's got it straight away. Dribbles to the near side, the handoff to Miller, looking underneath for Chaney, not there. Chaney and Swindle battling. Hilton's got it at the free throw line. Over to Little, back to Chaney. Head fake, one dribble, takes it to the hole. Strong, he's fouled, he'll go to the line. The foul's gonna be on Andrew Newsom. That's his third personal foul. Hilton will be at the line for two shots. That time, Hilton was going to bend the rim. There you see the quickness from Hilton and the explosiveness. He's been able to play a lot of minutes because he stayed out of foul trouble, which Coach McCoy has to love. And he's still, in the fourth quarter, after playing all those minutes, as explosive as he is from the opening tip. Free throw number one from Austin Hilton is no good. He'll have one more. 33 apiece on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Free throw number two on the way from Austin Hilton is good. He hits one of two. Eastridge 
a one-point lead with 7-10 to play in the fourth quarter. That Andrew Newsom, three personal fouls. Keep an eye on that. Shelby Valley with the basketball. Fields. Crossover. Gets by Kahn. Kicks it to Hamilton in the left corner. Cross court to Richardson. Richardson, head fake. Leaves it for Swindle. Swindle has it. Back to Richardson. Fields. Quick first step. Bounce pass. May have been tipped, nonetheless, right into the hands of Trey Little of Eastridge. Quickly down the floor. Hilton's got it down on the left block to Trey Little straight away. Comes off the screen by Hilton, brings it to the near side, gives it up to Kahn. Six and a half to play in the fourth. Little with a basketball. Down low it goes once again. Hilton, head fake, spinning off the glass, got the home bounce. Austin Hilton with the deuce. Eastridge with a three-point lead, 36 to 33 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Great possession by the Warriors. Very patient, very patient move by Hilton and a great move by Hilton. Fields driving to the basket, bodies fly, contact. Fields a little slow to get up. The foul is going to go. Fields gets called for the offensive foul. Okay, I've got it now. That's number three on Michael Fields. A lot of contact inside. Eastridge doing a good job to hold, hold position underneath. You know, Eastridge has been playing really well on the defensive end all night. They've allowed Shelby Valley to get a few looks from outside, but their interior defense has been very good. I got kind of blocked off there. Couldn't tell whether or not the Eastridge defender was set, but it looked like a good attempt at least to take a charge. I'm like you. I was blocked from the play, but you know we'll, we'll be able to see it. Hey, EKB TV tomorrow night. There you at go. Eight. EKB TV tomorrow night. You'll be able to watch the replay of tonight's matchup. Con with the basketball to Little. Austin Hilton, one step again, pounds it, goes to the basket. He's fouled before the shot. The foul on Andrew Newsom. I have that as four on Newsom. I'm looking down to our left, the Shelby Valley folks, they have it as four as well. And, that, and that's big because where has Eastridge looked to go here in the second half? They've looked to go inside and work their offense inside out. You know, with Hilton and Chaney staying out of foul trouble, if Newsom were to pick up that fifth foul, that would be huge in terms of the rest of this ball game. This game changes very quickly. Free throw, Austin Hilton is good. Because as much guard depth as Shelby Valley has, they almost have the opposite uh, down low. Not a whole lot of depth and not a whole lot of size on the interior. Hilton's second free throw is good. He's got 14 points in the basketball game. Austin Hilton definitely putting his name in the hat for your Community Trust Bank player of the game. We'll have that at the conclusion of tonight's matchup. That's Community Trust Bank. Building communities built on trust. Member FDIC and equal housing lender. Michael Fields takes it to the basket. He's fouled before the shot. The foul is going to be called on Michael Kahn of Eastridge. That's his first personal. Valley will throw it into the left of their own goal. Fields looking, looking. Got to hurry. Dumps it underneath. Dangerous pass picked off by Johnny Miller. Eastridge numbers off the glass. Hilton slams it home. Wow! Showtime at Eastridge High School. That's as good a play you're going to see in high school basketball right there. Wow! Shelby Valley and Eastridge have put on a show here tonight. Eastridge off the inbounds pass, the steal. Johnny Miller dishes it ahead. The trailing player was Austin Hilton. What do we do? We throw it off the glass. Hilton goes up to get it and slams it home. Coach Jim Hicks, uh, very uh, animated to our left in the huddle, trying to refocus Shelby Valley after that play. As we look over to our broadcast partners to our left, too, and we just kind of, all four of us here have the wide eye going on because that is as good as play as you will see, like you said, in high school basketball. Uh, that was incredible. Well, and you know, I, I, I like, I pride myself on trying to be neutral and trying to, but that one gets you excited. I, it, no matter where you are, we, 
we saw a lot of a uh, guy Ray Kasongo a few years ago. Yeah. And all the athleticism and a one time Oregon commit. So that D one forward athleticism. We didn't see any of those. That was spectacular. That, that was special and you'll be able to watch that tomorrow night on EKB TV, so set your clocks. If you miss the first three quarters, you better watch the first couple of minutes of the fourth because that's must as far see, as, must see TV. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, that's the play of the year in the 15th region right there. That was spectacular. And in the blink of an eye, it's a seven-point lead for Eastridge as we come back to action. Bodies collide and a whistle and a foul. That's going to be called on Eastridge. Foul's going to go on Trey Little. That's his third personal foul. Shelby Valley will inbound the basketball to the right of their own goal. Fields looking. Bounce pass in to Swindle. Quick three. Comes off. Hilton goes up high to get it. Five minutes. Ten seconds to play in the fourth quarter. Seven point lead for Eastridge on a Hutch Chevy scoreboard. They've got the basketball. They lead 40 to 33. Kahn gets a step. Kicks to Cheney. Eastridge, they do not have to be in a hurry. Cheney spins shot, left it short. Rebound, Corey Hamilton. Coach Randy McCorry off the bench, didn't like the quick trigger. Richardson up top to Michael Fields. Fields has it on the near side for Hunter Swindle. Swindle back to Fields. Into the corner, Richardson. The three ball will get Shelby Valley back in this one in a hurry in the lane. Swindle shot, no good. Loose ball, foul on the floor. Should be whistled on Austin Hilton, and it is. That's a good call. That's his second. Shelby Valley will have it once again. They'll throw it in to the right of their own goal with 4.33 to play in the fourth quarter. Swindle's got it in the corner. He stepped on the baseline. Out of bounds, turnover, Shelby Valley. Let's go back to the play for Hilton a second I, because I'm still thinking about it, replaying it over and over again in my mind. How would you like to be the guard? Dribbling down the floor and you hear backboard, backboard, backboard. Because if that doesn't work out, how's coach going to react? Con driving baseline, throws it away. Into the hand of Dalton Richardson. Richardson in the front court, down the left side, gets baseline. Tries to pass out to the right wing off the hands of Michael Fields. Another turnover. Turnovers both ways right now, this time on Shelby Valley. Basketball goes back to Eastridge. Seven-point lead. Four minutes, ten seconds to play in the fourth quarter on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Fourth turnover of the quarter for Shelby Valley. Not going to get it done here in a tight game. Miller lob underneath Cheney. Goes off the glass. Rolls off. He's fouled. He'll go to the line for two shots. The foul on Shelby Valley's Andrew Newsom, And if I'm correct, that is number five. And as we look below us to the official score, that is indeed five personal fouls on Andrew Newsom. He fouls out with two points in the basketball game. And you made mention moments ago, the game plan here in the second half or late in the second half from Coach Randy McCoy has been let's go inside, make the basketball go through the hands of Austin Hilton and Jacob Cheney. Now with Newsom going out, this basketball game has changed dramatically. Eastridge already having a seven-point lead. Yeah, especially Eastridge up 40 to 33 here. Uh, the waning moments of the game, four minutes left now uh, for Shelby Valley, and now you're inside. You're by far your biggest post player uh, taken out of the rest of this game, not coming back. And the, the success that Eastridge has had, great job by Coach McCoy, great game plan from halftime, great adjustments. Cheney missed the first free throw, the second on the way. That's no good. Two free throws missed. Shelby Valley, they have the basketball. They trail by seven, under four to play in the fourth quarter on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Richardson over the fields on the right wing. Into the corner it goes to Lamont Wright. Wright tries to drive baseline to contact the foul. That should be on Austin Hilton, and it is. I have it as number three on Austin Hilton. Shelby Valley with the basketball. Fields looking to throw it in straight away to, to Lamont Wright. Wright, quick first step, and he's fouled before he can penetrate the paint by Johnny Miller, number one on Miller. And that will put Shelby Valley in the bonus. Lamont Wright will be at the free throw line for the one plus. 3.45 to play in the fourth quarter. 
Wright's free throw on the way. Rattles and falls. Lamont Wright's first points of the night. Done bigger than that one. Huge for Shelby Valley to get into the bonus. Uh, any points from the free throw trailing behind with the clock stopped is huge. Second free throw comes off. No good. Rebound goes to Eastridge. Trey Little under pressure in the backcourt. Gets it across the stripe to Miller. Miller right down the middle of the lane. No good. Rebound. Chaney goes right back up with it. He's fouled. He'll be at the line for two shots. The foul will be on Corey Hamilton of Shelby Valley. That's his first personal, sending Jacob Chaney to the line where he is two of four on the night. 3.32 to play in the fourth quarter. Free throw number one from Chaney is good. And you mentioned it in the first half, the ability of Shelby Valley. They were doing very well boxing out. You see the first possession, Newsom isn't in there here uh, in this fourth quarter. Offensive rebound and another opportunity for Eastridge. Second free throw, no good from Cheney. Shelby Valley with the rebound. Coach Jim Hicks wants a timeout. We'll take it as well. Back after this, it is high school basketball game of the week action right here on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. Things starting to heat up here on the reservation. 41 to 34, Eastridge with the lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. 325 to play in the fourth quarter. Shelby Valley with the basketball. Lamont Wright, quick first step, hop step in the paint. No good. Loose ball, run down in the corner, flipped up, saved by Eastridge. Cheney tries to pass ahead. He's hit from behind. The foul is going to go on Hunter Swindle, his second. The only option Swindle had right there was to foul because if Chaney gets the pass off, that is an easy layup on the other end. Yeah, and not a bad foul. Eastridge will get two sh shots here, but it was pretty much a guaranteed two, like you said, the other way. So let's take our chances with Chaney at the free throw line. Rather than the easy layup, let's make Eastridge earn the two. Chaney's free throw, that one is good. Jacob Chaney. It's his third free throw of the night. Looking to make it four. And he cannot. That one rolls off. Eight-point lead for the Warriors, 42-34 on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Quick three, Hunter Swindle. Nope, make it a two. Swindle had a foot on the line. 42-36, Eastridge under three to play in the fourth quarter. 59th district. Basketball action, Little up the floor in a hurry. Back to Miller. Miller gets a step. Back to Little. Three in the air. No good. Quick shot on goal by Eastridge. Lamont Wright. Basketball coast to coast. Off the glass. No. Blocking is the call. That will send Shelby Valley to the free throw line. And, you know, and you go back to the other end, Little with that three there. And he had a really good look at it. And probably, if he hits it, dagger. But I think what Coach McCoy is trying to talk to him right now, look, we have a big lead, time running down, let's just run some more clock. And if we run this possession long enough, we're going to get two looks at the basket from the free throw line or a layup. Free throw number one is good by Lamont Wright. He'll have a second. 42-37 Eastridge. Free throw up, rattles and falls. Lamont Wright hits them both. Huge free throws. Kahn with the basketball, 240 in the front court. Pass ahead. Chaney layup, good. Eastridge not wasting any time whatsoever to answer. Back to a six-point basketball game. Warriors the lead. Shelby Valley with the basketball. Three ball. Hamilton, no good. Richardson rebound, dumps it underneath Lamont right on the baseline. Got it to fall. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to try to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. What a basketball game. I mean, you see Eastridge go on a run. Eastridge with a couple great press breaks. And then Shelby Valley, since they've been down after the timeout, the great timeout by Coach Hicks, you've seen how aggressive they've been, and they've done a really good job trying to cut into this lead with a chance to cut it to three. Free throw no good from Lamont Wright. It's a four-point basketball game. The foul was on Austin Hilton, his fourth. 2-10 to play. Pass to Kahn on the baseline. 
contact shot, no good. Another quick shot attempt by Eastridge, and that will send the Warriors back to the free throw line once again. The foul is on Hunter Swindle, number three on Swindle. Michael Kahn to the free throw line for two shots. He's yet to score in the basketball game until now. Free throw number one from Kahn is good. Back to a five-point Eastridge lead. Kahn looking to make it six. Shot up, no good. Two-possession game. Lamont Wright quickly up the floor, coast-to-coast, -coast, drives to the hole, got it. Lamont Wright with a deuce. It's a three-point game. Little inbounds to Hilton. Back to Little in backcourt, under two minutes. Ahead to Miller. Offensive foul on Trey Little right in front of us. Wow. You know, I, I can see the call. I think Lamont Wright did a great job trying, and I think Trey Little was a little sped up there. I think you, it could go either way. Three-point basketball game, a minute 45 to go in the fourth. Shelby Valley trailing, they've got the basketball. Lamont driving, Lamont Wright driving. Shot no good, Jacob Chaney with a rebound, and he's fouled by Wright, number two on Wright. Sends Chaney back to the line once again. His last six free throws, he's two for six. For Eastridge, Chaney needs to hit them both. Yeah, and I think Shelby Valley with this full court pressure they've been able to apply off made baskets has done uh, one big thing. Maybe not just uh, turnovers solely, but they have sped Eastridge up. And when Eastridge breaks the press, they haven't slowed down. So Shelby Valley really dictating tempo here. Chaney hit number one, number two up and in. Coach Randy McCoy wants a timeout, he gets it. A minute 41 to play in the fourth. Your score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. It's Eastridge 47, Shelby Valley 42. Back after this, it is high school basketball game of the week style right here on the stations of EKB Sports. Welcome back to Eastridge High School. It is the EKB game of the week, and what a game it has been. We've got a five-point basketball game, a minute 40 to play in the fourth. Eastridge with the lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. Shelby Valley with the basketball. Dalton Richardson, three on the way, no good. Hunter Swindle, offensive rebound, puts it up and in. Big two for Swindle and Shelby Valley, three-point game. Little breaks the pressure, right wing Miller. Thought about the three, didn't take it. Contact. There's the whistle. Foul on Dalton Richardson, his first. A little bit of a late whistle right there, but again, it was the right whistle. Yeah, we, and we, I think we heard the contact yes, there. I think uh, my call was kind of waiting for the official out top to make the call, and it never came, so he said, all right. Johnny Miller at the free throw line for Eastridge. He hits his first. Back to a four-point game. Minute 17 to play in the fourth. Miller's second up and in. Back to a two-point or two-possession basketball game. 49-44. Eastridge the lead on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard. In the front court quickly. Hunter Swindle drives to the basket. No good. Tipped up by Cheney. Little comes away with it. He's fouled. And we'll walk once again for free throws. Great look there for Shelby Valley and a great strategy for Shelby Valley. You know, attacking Hilton there in the middle with those four fouls. Look for Eastridge maybe to switch uh, Cheney down there to protect the rim. Foul was on Jacob Beverly of Shelby Valley, placing Trey Little to the free throw line. Shot up and in. A minute 10 to play here in the fourth. Eastridge hits her free throws here on out. Shelby Valley is going to have a hard. Hill to climb. Second free throw is good from Little. Two huge free throws. He's got four in a game. Seven point lead for the Warriors and coach Randy McCoy. 51-44, Swindle coast to coast, flips it up off the glass, good. Hunter Swindle with a deuce. Little to throw it in, gets it in the hands of Johnny Miller. Miller contacting backcourt, no whistle. Now he's tripped, falls to the floor. He'll go to the line. 
Great job by Miller there to get the ball in his hands. That's who you wanted in, a great free throw shooter, over 80-some uh, percent this year. Uh, excellent job. He kind of got tripped up by Lamont Wright from behind, and not a bad foul if you're Shelby Valley. Number three on Lamont Wright, Miller to the free throw line. 54 ticks left on a fourth quarter clock. Miller's free throw is good. Eastridge now, they've hit their last seven from the line. That's how you close out basketball games. 52-46, Eastridge. Shot on the way, no good. <laughs> Let me tell you, he's one of the classics here in the 15th region. Swindle takes it to the hole and scores. 52-48, 40 seconds. Miller with the basketball, steps across the time stripe to Little. Little gets an opening, drives down the lane, off the glass, good. Trey Little with a deuce. No fear in that, man. Six point game, 30 seconds to play in the fourth. Swindle to the basket before the shot or in the act, let's see. The foul is gonna go on Michael Kahn, his second. <laughs> Brandon McCoy, one of the deans here in the 15th region. Always, always Not, entertaining. Always coaching, always teaching on the sideline. Free throw on the way from Hunter Swindle is good. 54-49 your score. 27 seconds left in the fourth. Free throw on the way, no good. Rebound Austin Hilton of Eastridge. 23 seconds. Little ahead to Kahn. Gone with a basketball. Still has a dribble. Shelby Valley let a whole lot of time go off the clock right there before committing the foul. Like you said, J.D., too much time running off there in a multiple possession game. Uh, Shelby Valley, you need to foul quickly. It may not be the guy you want to foul, but time is of the essence right now. Uh, a little more important than who you're fouling. Khan's first free throw is no good. Comes off. 16.9 seconds on the clock. Second free throw, up and in. Michael Kahn hits one of two. Six point game, inbounds pass comes to Swindle. Swindle in the front court with 14 seconds. Richardson, three ball, no good. Rebound Trey Little. Little comes out of the pile, wants to pass, he's fouled. Down to our right, the Eastridge student sections. Well, they have come to life, and across the way, the Eastridge faithful all on their feet because they know this one's in the books, and it is a huge 59th district win for Eastridge. And you know somebody else that may be clapping on the inside or a group of people? That'd be people Panthers. dressed in maroon. That's exactly right because the 59th district still up for grabs. Little hits number one. Number two is good. Trey Little hits both free throws. Inbounds pass, comes to Swindle with five seconds. Swindle in the front court, wants to pull up, slips, falls, this one in the books. Your final score on the Hutch Chevy scoreboard, Eastridge 57, Shelby Valley 49. What a 59th district basketball game we had for you tonight right here on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting. Also, EKB TV, you'll be able to watch the replay of tonight's game tomorrow night. That's Channel 18, Sudden Link Cable, EKB TV. We're gonna step out and gather ourselves when we come back. We'll tell you about it right here on the stations of East Kentucky Broadcasting.